When I work with people who've had a spiritual awakening or are starting their ascension journey, they're starting to wake up, starting to become aware of things that exist beyond our dimensional field, beyond what you experience or know as reality. That could be quite daunting and quite scary. I know a lot of times, initially, it seems very magical. We start to be able to perceive things. Maybe we're starting to be able to see energy and auras. Maybe we have some voices we're hearing, some communication that is coming from higher dimensional fields. But a lot of times that can manifest as fear. And there's a very important reason why that happens. And you need to know how to handle that and what all of that means so that you don't get caught up or stuck in a real long period that we know as dark night of the soul, right? Because a lot of times, Dark night allows you to move through and clear a lot of healing. But if you get wrapped up in the fear, you can spend a lot more time in that phase of the awakening journey than is necessary. Okay? So when we expand, consciousness expands, we start to glean into higher dimensional fields. And we start to perceive things that reside in those fields. Maybe your guide comes forward you get a stronger sense of intuition. You're able to read the room, so to speak. You become a little more sensitive. Maybe, like I said earlier, you're seeing energy in auras. This is your higher self's way of getting your attention and reminding you that you are more than just this physical human avatar. But oftentimes, and I work with people that experience this as well, that could bring forward a lot of fear. The fear of the unknown. We start to experience things that are outside of what we thought or believed reality was, which is a 3D reality that is physical in nature. When you start to be able to perceive these higher dimensional fields, if you have energetic blockages within your body, if you have past trauma uh, from something that happened that didn't align with your expectation of reality, a lot of fear and a lot of anxiousness, anxiety can come up. And you could spend a lot of time in that fear energy trying to sort out exactly what's happening. So I remember for me, it was years ago, I remember I was upstairs and I was standing there and I heard somebody yell in my ear, Mark, really, really loud. Nobody was home. I went into the garage. I walked around the house. There was nobody here. Now, I had always been a believer. In fact, I had experiences prior to that. Of, with ghosts and higher dimensional beings and, and seeing ET craft and things of that nature. So I was quite aware that there are energies that reside in higher dimensional fields and that, in fact, they can communicate with, with me. So I didn't have that intense fear at that moment of that. But think about it. If you're someone who was brought up in a very religious family, with very religious programming or just very um, 3D programming, very maybe science-based programming, something like that, an experience like that can really be disheartening. That could create a lot of fear. And if you choose to align with that fear or identify with that fear, it could throw you into a or onto a path that really creates a lot of suffering. Like, is there something wrong with me? Should I see a psychiatrist? Should I see a doctor? Right? Identifying with the fear can bring up along a lot of suffering, needless suffering. Now, sometimes we're shown things that bring fear up because our higher self wants us to experience something that was holding us back or keeping us small, like a limiting belief. So for me, again, when I experienced the Galactic Federation, in one experience, they came through as three dark beings, right? This is my higher self's way of showing me that I had a fear blockage, basically based on something that I had read or seen that traumatized me in my past about dark beings appearing at night, right? So it brought this belief up and I was able to work through that. Now, if I had chosen to identify with that, I might have created a story in my head that I was being attacked psychically by some external entity and that I was powerless and had no control. And you go down that road 
and that creates a lot of suffering. But nevertheless, the fear, the belief was brought into my awareness and I had enough consciousness about higher dimensional fields that I was able to get into my heart space, reconnect with love and clear that blockage. It's shortly after that experience, the Galactic Federation came through in a much uh, more coherent, uh, clear way because I had cleared away that limiting fear blockage. Now, there's a lot of phases to, to ascension. I'm not going to get into it here. You can watch this video for all the phases of ascension that I have experienced and what you can experience along your journey. Try to figure out where you are. But it's important to realize that a big part of this journey is realizing that you are here to expand, to open up, to ground more of your higher self. And in order for that to happen, you need to release the fear, the blocks that are in the way. So expect that that is part of the process and expect that that is something that might happen. Now, based on your trauma, based on your upbringing, based on your experiences, you may not have that big of an issue with clearing this dense energy. But a lot of people that I work with do. They get stuck in these limiting beliefs. So when you're ready to really step into and embrace yourself, it's important to remember that you are in control at every given moment over how you feel. We get off the rails when we let this fear, these limiting beliefs, this anxiety control how we feel. And that leads again to more needless suffering, okay? The whole point of this journey is to become aware of these darker aspects, these traumatized aspects of us, these denser aspects of us, and return them to love. And that requires you to be able to have that awareness when this energy activates within you, it becomes active in your field, say fear, for example, to have that awareness that you have control in that moment as to how you can feel. You could choose to become the fear or you can choose to become something else, like reconnecting with your heart chakra and experiencing love in that moment. That is so, so powerful. That's how you alchemize this dense energy. Okay, so if you're experiencing things that are starting to come back to you, starting to come online, remember, maybe you're starting to hear things, voices like I did. Maybe you're starting to see things like energy and orbs. Maybe you're starting to know things. They're coming out of left field. Maybe you're experiencing synchronicities, right? This is more of you activating. It's been locked away in your DNA. It's opening back up. The density that was in keeping it frozen is coming awake and it's manifesting in your field so that it can be seen and processed. That's going to be the fear. That's going to be the anxiety. Maybe some sort of dread. Maybe I'm being attacked. Those are the types of emotions that come up when your DNA activates. It has to release the density. So that may manifest in experiences that highlight or activate those emotions. And that is okay. Again, your higher self is showing you, hey, this is the stuff that's been keeping these abilities frozen or offline to you. You've risen to a level of consciousness where it starts to vibrate, starts to move. Remember, we're in a universe of motion, right? The DNA starts to activate all of that muck, all of that trauma, all of that density comes up again into your experience to be processed. It's there because at some point in our lives, early on, we decided to not process some sort of an emotion that came from a trauma, right? We tucked it away. We said, I'm not dealing with that, right? That created a heavier state of being, slower vibrating, right? Less energy moving. Now energy is starting to move. You're starting to awaken. Your higher self is coming in. You're grounding it. You're meditating, breathing, right? So your body is rising. It's vibrating faster and your DNA will vibrate faster and unlock some of these gifts, okay? Feel the dense energy that rises up. It's what's been holding you back. It's what's been limiting you. It is so, so important. But it's also important to not identify with it, okay? Keep that space. Keep that presence. Be the observer of it. Feel the dense energy. Feel the fear. If your clairs are coming online, maybe you're starting to see shadows, right? 
you have a story that says, well, shadows are bad, right? That's going to keep you limited. It's going to keep you small. It's keeping you out of your heart space. It's keeping you out of your body. It's keeping you out of love. You're identifying with a story that is holding you back. And the longer that holds you back, the more you will suffer in that dense energy. Realize that these were stories that you believed. Maybe you inherited them sometime in your life by unconsciously believing them. You were told them. They're limiting. They're coming up to be seen, to be released. When I can realize, oh, shadows, that, that story of, of shadow beings, that story of energy, this is bad, right? When we can release that and reconnect with love, we start to embrace the expansion of consciousness that is happening by letting go of the stories that were keeping you small. If I had a fear of something, I'm going to avoid it, right? So when we're fearing shadows, when we're fearing potential negative experiences or negative entities, we are avoiding the, or the embrace of the expansion of consciousness, the return of these gifts. We're turning away from it. Embrace the energy that is coming up. Even if it doesn't feel good, sit with it. Bring it back to love. It is not a match. It no longer serves you. It's coming up to be seen. It's coming up to be felt. It's coming up to be released. As you do this, the experiences that are ready to come forward that are in alignment with love will start to replace those that are aligned with fear. But it all comes down to you, your choice, your awareness, your decision on where to focus your energy. Do you want to focus it into the fear or do you want to focus it into the love and fully support your higher self, the multidimensional you that is moving through your body, that is being unlocked from your DNA so that you can start to experience these higher aspects of you so that your reality can start to reflect that. That's how we manifest new earth. We do it from within. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you.